G'day, Wombat here, and in today's budget gear, we're gonna take a look at the TN5 by Tanglewood Guitars. We've done a few Tanglewood guitars in the past, and they've been pretty good. So today, we're gonna to take a look at this lovely beastie, the TN5 from Tanglewood. So, this was described to me as a bit of a Western-style dreadnought guitar. Um, and as you can see, it's a little bit different to your average, everyday uh, dreadnought that you'll see a million of. Um, and that's a lot of that's in the color. They've got this lovely amber style color on the top as opposed to the more natural looking finish that you get on these things. But um, let's just have a bit of a look at it and see what it's all about. So it is a solid spruce top. Now we are in budget gear and we're getting a solid spruce top. That's pretty good. Um, Rosewood Bridge. Uh, the back and sides are mahogany. As you can see, quite an interesting piece of mahogany there. Um, the neck, of course, is mahogany. Um, the tuners we have on here are a small button generic tuner. I'm assuming they don't have anything on them, so I'm assuming they're generic, or they may well have been made by Tanglewood, I'm not sure. But as a budget gear, you would expect them to be a, of a generic um, manufacture. But they are a small button tuner, which is some um, really something you don't see a lot on acoustic guitars. It's more of something you would see um, on a vintage styled uh, electric guitar, you know, like a, a Fender Strat style of guitar. Um, so I thought having that on here was kind of interesting. Um, it's a rosewood uh, fingerboard with uh, an ABS nut and uh, the saddle is also ABS as well. Um, and it is uh, an electric acoustic, so the electrics in here are Tanglewood's very own electrics. Uh, it's the TEQ 3BT in this model. Comes with a tuner um, and these lovely, um, oh, you won't be able to see them on the camera so I won't, uh, I won't show you, but these, these lovely really recessed buttons that when you push them in they pop out so that you can turn them and then they kind of lock in place when you push them down. So I don't know how well you're going to see that, but um, it's it's really really an interesting feature um, to lock those into place so you can't you know mistakenly twiddle them. Um, the downside is I'm not sure how handy that's going to be to adjust on the fly while you're playing if you were playing a live performance. Um, there are a lot of acoustic players who like to fiddle with that a little bit at the beginning of songs. Um, but I do like the fact that it sort of locks them in and, and out of the way and you can't bump them or anything like that. So that's that's kind of what it's about. Um, let's talk about how it sounded. Dreadnought guitars are normally very balanced in tone. Um, my, I, I play a Dreadnought acoustic um, because I like a balanced tone and I like it to be a little warmer, um, if anything. And I played this one back to back with my acoustic and I was quite surprised at how much more mid-range and top end that this guitar produced compared to my, um, my acoustic. Um, the bass end is not missing on this, it's just somewhat reduced um, in what you hear. So you do hear quite a bit of the mid-range um, is quite prominent and a bit of the top end. And where you pick on an acoustic guitar, whether it be more towards the bridge or closer to the neck, really makes a dramatic difference 
on this particular instrument, which I thought was really quite interesting because it makes a difference on all instruments, but this one, it was even more dramatic than normal, and that's because of the more pronounced mid-range, um, which is a little unusual for a dreadnought, but it was quite interesting. I do wonder if that's something to do with the, uh, the finish and stuff that they've used on this guitar. So that, that was quite interesting. Um, I really, really like these small button tuners. It's one of the things that drew me to this guitar because it is quite quite a bit different to the norm and I quite like them. I also really like the inlaid piece of what I'm assuming is maple um, across the top with the Tanglewood logo on it. Um, yeah, that, that is actually an inlaid piece that goes across the top there um, and it just looked really stunning and very, very eye-catching. So the neck itself um, was really good. It, it wasn't too thick. Some acoustics can be a little handful. Um, you know, in, in the hand, they, they really fill it up a bit. Um, this one wasn't too bad. The fret job on it is really quite nice. Um, so well done to, to uh, Tanglewood for a guitar in the budget gear realm to have, you know, a nice fret job and a really quite comfortable, easy neck. Um, it's a little thin, it's so the neck is width-wise is a little more electric than acoustic, um, which you're getting a lot more electrics doing that these days, but um, it, it did sort of, you know, cramp me up a little bit. I've, I've got slightly bigger fingers than some people, so um, a, a beginner, particularly a child or that sort of thing, would not really have that issue with this guitar. So uh, it's not something I hold against it, it just plays a little bit different to the acoustic that I'm used to playing. But all in all, it was a really nice playing acoustic. Plenty of volume, um, and that's helped, of course, with that, that prominent mid-range. And I really enjoyed the, the electronics in this. It was really quite good. So there you are. Quite a nice guitar. Well made. Um, as we would expect from Tanglewood, they do a pretty good job. Um, but it is a budget gear. And the one thing I will note is five year warranty on a budget gear. That's really phenomenal. Five year warranty on a budget gear guitar, it's crazy. So what about price? That's what we always wanna know, particularly with a budget gear, a review, what about the price? Well, it's only just budget gear. Let's just say that. It rec the recommended retail value on this thing is right on the $500 mark, and that's our cutoff for budget gear reviews. Variety Music, however, do it a little bit cheaper. They're doing it for around the $400 mark at the moment, um, which, you know, places it, you know, still high in the budget gear, but, but better quality um, for a better price. So there you are. That is the Tanglewood TN5. Not a bad little, little guitar. Great looker. And I just love those buttons. They are just awesome. All right. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and please share. And as always, rock on, guys. Mm -hmm.